Commemorations marking the centenary of the Easter Rising continue today when the roles of James Connolly and the Irish Citizen Army were remembered in a special ceremony at Liberty Hall in Dublin. Afterwards, the President paid tribute to all those involved in the weekend's events, saying it had been an enormous success in so many different ways. The choir from St. Louis High School singing at Liberty Hall, where on Easter Monday 1916, the Irish Citizen Army gathered at almost full strength. Today, a state ceremony would remember their sacrifice, with a serving soldier, the great-grandson of James Connolly, reading the proclamation in his shadow. Public Nahir, the provisional government of the Irish Republic to the people of Ireland. My uh, great-grandfather is this gentleman here, James Connolly, uh, as we all know, a great leader, one of the signatures of the proclamation. President Higgins then laid a wreath in perfect silence and spoke later of his thoughts on the centenary celebrations. I think this has been very successful in so many different ways. Very particularly, it is wonderful to see the turnout in the streets, to see the reports from all over the country at the involvement that people had. It has often been remarked there would have been no rising without the Irish Citizen Army. Its founders would no doubt have been proud today then to see the Army of the Independent Irish State standing guard at the statue of their founder, James Connolly, for this one of the final ceremonials of the centenary period. When people refer to it, they just refer to it as the volunteers. They would be including everybody, you know, but there was a difference at that time. And it was the Citizen Army that performed the honours as the event closed and the President departed. Ray Kennedy, RTE News, Liberty Hall.